One important phenomena that occurs in sheet metal bending is spring back. Spring back is increase in the included angle of bend part relative to included angle of forming tool after tool is removed. So this is increase in the included angle or decrease in the bend angle. Reasons for spring back. When bending pressure is removed, elastic energy remains in the bend part causing it to recover partially towards its original shape. So once a part is bent to a certain angle, the bend part tends to return to the original shape that was a flat sheet or blank. So that results in increase in the included angle or a decrease in the bend angle. Two common methods to compensate for spring back are overbending and bottoming. In overbending, the punch angle and radius are fabricated slightly smaller than the specified angle on the final part so that the sheet metal springs back to the desired value. In bottoming, the part is squeezed at the end of the stroke, thus plastically deforming it in the bend region. So this figure shows the phenomenon of spring back. So spring back in bending shows itself as a decrease in the bend angle that is decreased in this angle this angle because after spring back the sheet will tend to move in this direction so uh, this angle will reduce so decrease in bend angle or increase in included angle as well as uh, increase in the bend radius so when the sheet will move, when the part will move in this direction because of spring back, included angle will increase as well as this radius will increase. So in figure one, during the operation, the work is forced to take the radius, R subscript T and angle uh, alpha dash B. Determined by the uh, bending tool. So this radius, R subscript T will depend upon the radius of the punch in the case of e-bending. So after the punch is removed, the work spring back uh, to radius R and included angle alpha dash. So that is the phenomena of spring back. So it can be compensated using overbending or using uh, bottoming dies that is squeezing the part uh, between punch and die till the plastic deformation is complete.